All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to do a very cute problem called derivative in a box. Yeah, um, because I want to show you how to find an abstract, the matrix of an abstract linear transformation. So consider the following weird linear transformation. It takes a polynomial of degree less than or equal to three. So that's the notation P3 polynomial less than or equal to th with degrees less than or equal to three as an input and spits out a polynomial of degree less than or equal to two. For example, namely by taking the derivative of this. For example, let's calculate t of one plus two t plus three t squared. Well, it's the derivative or maybe even more plus four t cubed. It's the derivative of this polynomial, so 2, 3, 3 plus 4t cubed prime, and that gives you 2 plus 6t plus 12t squared. And notice, indeed, t spits out a polynomial degree less than or equal to 2 by the power rule, okay, the power rule. Um, <laughs> And what we would like to do is find a matrix of t with respect to the standard basis 1t t squared t cubed of p3 and the output basis 1t t squared of p2. And I don't want to say this is useful, but I believe it's super useful. I believe this is how your calculators calculate derivatives. So if you do a symbolic differentiation, they probably use that kind of matrix. Okay, now, how do you calculate the matrix of a linear transformation? It's the same thing as usual. For every vector in the input basis, you calculate t of that vector. So let's calculate t of the polynomial one. Well, it's one prime, and that's zero. But that's not all, because you really need an output vector. And the way you do this, you take your output and express it in terms of the output basis C. So you want to find numbers such as this is something times 1 plus something times t plus something times t squared. And well, that something here, it's simply 0, 0, and 0 which tells you the first column of your matrix is just 0, 0, 0. Good. And then you just need to continue with every vector here. So t of t is t prime, which is 1. And then that's just 1 times 1 plus 0 times t plus 0 times t squared plus 0 times t cubed. Which tells you that the second column will be 1, 0, 0, 0. Good. And then just continue. So t of t squared, that's 2t. And you want to express it in terms of 1, t, t squared. Right? And so in other words, that becomes 0 times 1 plus 2 times t plus 0 times t squared, which is 0, 2, 0. And again, those vectors, they're predetermined. It depends on B and it depends on C. Here, because the spaces of C is 1 T T squared, you have to express it in terms of that basis. All right, good. And lastly, T of T cubed, that is 3 T squared. And that is 0 times 1 plus 0 times T plus 3 times T squared. It tells us our third column is... 0, 0, 3. And then all you need to do, uh, I don't know why I did that here. <laughs> Sorry. All you need to do is put everything in a matrix. So it's just 0, 0, 0. Uh, okay, so you get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 2, 0, and 0, 0, 3. And you put that in a matrix, and you get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 
and 0, 0, and 3. And there you go, your derivative in a box. So it is a derivative in a box. And in fact, let me show you how to use this matrix to calculate a derivative. So let's use that to actually calculate, for example, 2 plus 3t plus 4t squared prime. Let's use it the linear algebra way to do that. So 2 plus 3t plus 4t squared, first of all, express it in terms of your basis b. So b is 1 t t squared t cubed. So this is really 2 times 1 plus 3 times t plus 4 times t squared plus 0 times t cubed. So really, the way you think about this is the coordinates of this vector with respect to the input basis is 2, 3, 4, 0. Then, let's apply the matrix to this vector. So let's apply 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 to the vector 2, 3, 4, 0. And let's see what we get. So if we multiply this, we get 3, and then da, 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 2 times 4, which is 8, da, 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 and then 0. That's one thing. Now we need to take this vector and figure out which vector in P2 this corresponds to. So basically this tells us the coordinates of your polynomial with respect to C. Now just figure out what that polynomial is. Well, it's just 3 times 1 plus 8 times t plus 0 times t squared, which is 3 plus 8t. So let's check what is this saying is the derivative of 2 plus 3t plus 4t squared. Is that equal to 3 plus 8t? Well, yes, indeed it is. And in fact, we did it the linear algebra way. And I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure your calculators do the same thing, but with a bigger matrix. So you input 2 plus 3t plus 4t squared, but your computer thinks, oh no, well, that's just uh, 2, 3, 4, 0. And then it made, multiplies with matrices. And in its head, it's like, oh, well, it's 3, 8, 0. But really, to make you happy, it writes it as 3 plus 8t. This is really cool. All right, I hope you like this little linear algebra extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.